President Biden was photographed holding a cheat sheet during his press conference yesterday. Look, it has a photo of Los Angeles Times reporter Courtney Subramanian, along with a pronunciation of her name. But there's more. The card also includes her question. You can also see someone's handwriting telling the president that she will ask the first question. And the question she asked sure sounded you, close president. to it. Are you damaging a key ally in the competition with China to help your domestic politics ahead of the election? Did the White House get the question ahead of time? That's what a lot of people want to know. And now I'm happy to take some questions, and I'm told I should start with AP Zeke Miller. Zeke, you have a question. Uh, I'm sorry I'm going to get in trouble with staff. I don't do this the right way. Jennifer Jacob, Bloomberg. I'll take your questions, and as usual, folks, they gave me a list of the people I'm going to call on. So, uh, Jonathan, Associated Press. Ladies and gentlemen, they gave me a list here. The first person I was instructed to call on was Kelly O'Donnell of NBC. Now, I'm supposed to stop and walk out of the room here. Joe Biden is notorious for his ability to ignore the press. Thank you very much. What's your message to North Korea? I'm not, I'm not supposed to take any questions, but go ahead. Mr. President, on Afghanistan? I'm not going to answer Afghanistan now. Okay. God bless you all and may God protect our troops. Thank you. The Afghan forces, they were not going to leave. They were not going to just abandon and then put down their arms and take off. So that's what happened. Thank you very, very much. Thank you. Why do you continue to trust the Taliban, Mr. President? Why do you continue to trust their pledges, Mr. President? Thank you. Thank you, and may God bless you all, and may God protect our troops. I'll have plenty of time to talk to you later. Thank you. Thank you. Our questions, sir. In a lot of ways, this dinner sums up my first two years in office. I'll talk for 10 minutes, take zero questions, and cheerfully walk away. Is the administration trying to protect the president from our questions? Uh, please, I answer Absolutely that question. Absolutely not. Absolutely not. So why the lack of any interaction in a formal setting to have a press conference? Uh, I mean, the president takes shouted questions. I, I understand, John. I understand. I understand. I've dealt with this question about three times already. I understand. It is, it is, it is uh, the job of you all to ask this question to me. Totally get that. And that's not a problem at all. I want to know who's the real president of this country. Is it, Bi is it Joe Biden or Joe Manchin? She, she can hear me. Can you hear me now? Can you hear me, Madam okay, Vice President? Oh, I'm sorry. You got a rap? Oh. So I'm, I'm sorry to interrupt. They're acting like they can't hear me. Y'all see that? <laughs> I can hear you. Oh, so who's the I real? So who's the real president of this country? Is it Joe Manchin or Joe Biden, Madam Vice President? Come on, Charlemagne. I really. Come on. I, it's Joe Biden. I can't no, tell. No, no, sometimes. no, 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 no. It's Joe Biden, and don't start talking like a Republican about asking whether or not he's president. Do you think Joe Manchin and, is and a problem? It's Joe, and, it's Joe, and it's Joe Biden, and I'm vice president, and my name is Kamala Harris. I am Kamala Harris. My pronouns are she and her. I am a woman sitting at the table wearing a blue suit.
Hello.